I'm Pooja Alangvam, IAS 2018 batch. I'm currently posted as SDO Porumbat Imphal East and I'll be taking you on my journey from an aspirant to an officer. So I was born and brought up in Imphal, Manipur. Uh, my father is an IPS officer and my mother is a teacher. So I grew up in a really wonderful environment where my parents tried to create lovely, you know, situation and themes where I could play but also focus on my studies. And I used to run wild, my parents used to let me run wild, play with my friends and we had a lot of a big huge lawns and even, you know, I used to go play in the forest near my uh, grandparents' home. So we grew up connected to nature, I think that's one of the the best things about being in Manipur because even though you live in a town, you always have nature, lakes, hills around you. So I remember going on treks as a kid, as a child. I remember uh, going, you know, bird watching and we used to wake up early in the morning, go for walks with my mother and my grandparents. So these are my fondest memories from my childhood. And I think it has stayed with me, this love for nature, this love uh, to give back to our society, to preserve our environment. So that was my childhood. Uh, from there, I did my schooling till class 6th in Manipur. Uh, but at that time, in the early 2000s, Manipur was going through a difficult period of conflict and insurgency. So I, I remember times when the library located next to my house was actually burned down during some conflict. And I remember for almost a year when I didn't go to school because there was buns and curfews almost every day. So my parents wanted me to have a stable environment to study. And after that, they sent me to boarding school in Dehradun uh, in Wellam Girls School. So my journey there was also uh, equal parts exciting as well as a bit apprehensive because you know I come from the northeast and I was going to uh, a north Indian school I mean located in north India so initially I looked different from everyone so people were curious they wanted to know which country I came from so they asked me if I was a princess in some other country so that kind of thing was there initially but you know I got into the groove of uh, going for games early in the morning PT uh, a lot of extracurricular activities, dancing, singing, quizzes, uh, debates, and of course studies. I mean, I love studying, not because, uh, you know, to get good marks or get good scores, but because I loved it. And I think I was very fortunate to have a teacher like my mother. I mean, from childhood, she's been teaching me in a very engaging manner where you don't feel like you're studying. You feel like you are creating a new world within yourself. And I was lucky to continue that even in my schools where I had wonderful teachers like Mrs. Datta, uh, Mrs. Brar, Mrs. Khanke, to name a few. And I still remember them and I love them so much because they gave me this joy of learning, this curiosity to make the world a better place. So I think I continued with me to college uh, in Stephens and even to when I did my master's from uh, JNU. So this thread of learning, this thread of engaging with our community, with our society. I think this was always present uh, during my educational journey. When I first went to St. Stephen's College to do my history honours, uh, it was a wonderful environment. Suddenly going from a closed uh, boarding school life to the world wide open for me. And uh, we had wonderful teachers, but I think a lot of uh, my social socializing also took place outside of college with other colleges in the Delhi University. And I met people who were already preparing for the UPSC exams. Many of them were very focused and many of them came from very underprivileged backgrounds in, you know, from harsh deserts of Rajasthan to Kashmir uh, to Mizoram. So I met all these people and I also began to get a bit inspired to actually focus on what I wanted to do with my life. On top of that, I had my father who is already an IPS officer and in my second year of college, I still remember uh, I was coming to the end of my semester exams and I heard the news that my father and his convoy was ambushed in Chandel. So it was a very horrifying period for me and for my entire family. Uh, fortunately, he was unhurt, but several of his security 
personal uh, died so it was a very horrifying moment and i realized that there's so much work to do in our own home in my own home in manipur and even though i had spent uh, almost more than 10 years of my life outside manipur studying and preparing for various exams i realized that that's where i want to come back so that's one of the biggest motivations in my second year of uh, college in stephens and I started seriously thinking about pursuing a career in the civil services because initially I was more academically inclined and I was thinking of doing my PhD going abroad uh you know join the UN maybe or joining Harvard University I had even got scholarships uh to Columbia and New York universities there was I was at a crossroads at that time and I think that incident with my father and uh, because my family also wanted me to come back home if possible so I think that's when I really realized that i want to choose the civil services uh you know as a career so uh, when i decided to choose civil services career seriously in my third year of college when i was just going to jnu i told my parents about it and uh, they asked me if i'm sure about it if i really wanted to pursue it because uh, it's a very challenging career and they felt that since i love books and reading and writing they felt that i would be better off probably staying abroad living a life of academia where i can be a public intellectual so they asked me to think about it seriously and to see if i would actually because it's also hard work because barely 0.0% of the people who actually give the exam actually eventually go on to pass the exam so it's also can be very difficult for a person to go through year after year giving this exam uh, so i thought about it for a year uh, and in my second year of Uh, MA that's when i started seriously preparing for the exam and my parents by then they were quite happy about it and they said we'll you know we'll support you we'll guide you in whatever way you can however my father he had given the exam many years ago so he told me that you'll probably have to figure it out on your own with that regard so i started researching online uh, about the syllabus and what all was required of me and i felt that many of the subjects were things i'm familiar with i mean having a mother like you know my mother is a teacher she loves the sciences so i still remember how she taught me math science everything you know till class 7 8 and whatever she taught me till then i still could use it for my ups examination because she's such an amazing teacher and i never forgot it and after that i studied history political science uh, international relations this were all there in the upsc uh, syllabus anyway so it was not very difficult for me and initially i was even thinking of taking coaching in delhi because i had stayed for so many years and i felt i could stay for one more year to do coaching fortunately unfortunately i got dengue in delhi and i got scared of staying there so you know i came running back home saying you know i want to stay at home and be taken care of by my mother and my parents so that i think one of the reason why i didn't go for coaching was because of this incident and i just decided to stay back in manipur and i felt that because of the world of uh, you know internet now we can access almost everything online so i used to go hunt for all these books in rajinder nagar take them back home and whatever was left current affairs and everything else i used to get it online so i felt that uh, you know i was quite self motivated and i had very supportive parents very supportive family my brother sister and my friends uh during my preparation i felt that i led a normal life in the sense that i did not close it myself inside my house or in my room and study 24/7 that's not the kind of person i am uh, i actually like learning and i feel that the upsc syllabus uh, enables you to actually learn so much and i felt that even if i don't get upsc i'll do something with my life you know go into journalism or academia or something else and actually use the kind of things i read about uh, you know while doing the preparation to do something else so i used to still go out once or twice a week go with my friends hang out at coffee shops go to book shops read other books so there used to be this running joke in my family that even while taking a break from upsc studying i used to read other books for fun <laughs> so that's the kind of things i did uh so overall of course that's not to say that it was always fun all the time there were times when i was anxious and i was very insecure i was not sure if i would even get through this exam uh even though i had done well both in school and college but this is such a rigorous exam and it, it 
it makes you scared because the syllabus never ends because i feel that it's whenever they ask me the upsc syllabus i say it's everything under the sun you know you cannot say this is out of syllabus when it comes in the exam uh, so i remember i used to cry sometimes or you know i used to spend a lot of time walking and my mother used to come and you know console me my sister used to come and make me uh, watch movies so all these things were also there there were times uh, when it was hard because i was wondering if i chose the right career you know if i'm preparing for the right career at all so all these questions did come into mind and i'm sure it happens to every aspirant as well uh, but uh, i persevered and i felt that you know i had enough motivation to do this because i wanted to give back to my community to my society to my country and i felt that this was the platform which would enable me to do that at this period of time i also remember when i was staying in delhi there were a lot of crimes against uh, people from the northeast uh, especially women from the northeast so even in delhi i even now when i'm even though i'm an is officer i'm 28 years old my mother still calls me up at night you know to check if i'm still out at night because she's scared for me so that's the kind of situation now and i felt that uh you know i met the director of spooner the the special cell for the northeast delhi this time